Hi, my name is Francine Coughlin. I'm a certified trainer and owner of Bark and Roll Canine Care located at 24C Main Street in North Reading, Massachusetts. Bark and Roll was established in 2010. Um, I started just walking dogs, just myself, and um, then we expanded quite quickly because obviously there was a need in the area for walking and sitting and I was also uh, a certified trainer at the time just starting training uh, professionally so I uh, was offering a lot of private in-home training. Um, we also wanted to expand and be able to have a sort of social element to this training so for the dogs um, because socialization is so important in the early stages so we decided to set up a Bark and Roll School of Rock. And I found this nifty little studio on Main Street, which is um, very convenient for our current clients and new clients. And um, yeah, so we uh, just started that. And we're still offering private training here, but we're also able to offer cl group classes, group training. So uh, also semi-private sessions, say you're a friend um, and you get a puppy um, and you want to do training together, we can do semi-private trainings in the studio. Featured on the program was our Star Puppy class. It's a beginner uh, curriculum. We cover a lot more than just the AKC Star Puppy Evaluation. We um, end up covering uh, probably 16 cues or so. Um, and we ended up doing tonight uh, Focus, Sit, and Touch, which were all uh, sort of beginner cues that teach a control position such as touch. And also we work on a lot of name recognition and checking in with the owner so that um, we're encouraged to have a good come when call and recall uh, when you talk to your dog and you call your dog's name, they don't tune you out even if they're uh, facing a distraction, they're able to turn around and, and uh, give you their attention when you need it. So that's our name recognition and touch is also similar to that. It's the click in the treat, okay? So I'm tossing the treat, find it. So if your dog doesn't look back at you, you can prompt them and you can call their name or you can put the treat in and t turn their head. Like we're, we're just really trying to get our dogs interested in us on walks, in the house. It can absolutely be peanut. <laughs> Merci. Okay. So it has to be a unique word you're not going to use a lot. We also offer um, a, an advanced class, which is it just picks up where a beginner left off. So um, it has a canine good citizen focus. So I'm also an AKC American Kennel Club evaluator, um, as is my trainer Melissa Cameron, and we um, run this advanced course to refine your beginner cues, and also with the focus of passing your canine good citizen evaluation at the end, which it happens on class number six, um, and that is just to teach responsible dog ownership and uh, basic cues when interacting in society so that your dog is well trained in public, not just in your home. Um, so we talk about polite greetings with other dogs, with human beings, and being able to be polite to groomers, vets, etc. We also offer a reactive dog training course, which there's a great need for. Um, there's a lot of dogs with leash reactivity we find that are okay greeting dogs off leash, but once they're attached to a leash, it's a whole different ball game. So we teach uh, what to do in the case of uh, meeting other dogs on leash and your dog has an issue, whether it be that they're really a frustrated greeter and want to get to the other dog immediately and exhibit signs sort of that appear like aggression that might turn another dog off or make another owner or yourself nervous. Um, we also deal with dogs that are shy and really um, insecure, teach them to have confidence to at least walk, at least walk by another dog on leash um, without reacting and sort of like checking in with you. So. Um, that's a big one. We call it growly dogs. It, it's for excitable dogs, not not necessarily aggressive. So that's a big one for us. Um, a lot of people or a lot of trainers I know won't touch dogs that have these issues, but we're big into rehabilitating dogs that have reactivity issues because generally it's they're misunderstood. We find um, not aggressive and vicious um, as they're perceived. So we really encourage. Uh, working with your dog instead of making them a social pariah and isolating them. We want to be able to at least walk down the street calmly and confidently with their dog. So, I wanted to do something fun when I when I created Bark and Roll. Um, I love rock and roll. I have a musical background. I'm very uh, I'm, I'm very much into music and inspired by music. And so I wanted to do a little fun twist on it and and make it Bark and Roll. I also have a rescue dog named Nellie from Northeast Animal Shelter. Um, who has a natural mohawk, so she was the inspiration for the logo for Bark and Roll. So I just felt like she was a rock and roll dog, and um, 
just was a fun way to go with it. I, I, I felt like, you know, it was a nice way to brand a company so that it felt fun, family friendly, and also maybe a little bit outside of the box.